In this session, I'm going to share with you some of the KDP holidays you should prepare for and uh, for more sales and take advantage of. So let's go straight. And uh, these are holidays that if you are into KDP publishing, and you now get to appreciate that holidays, in, during holidays, we make the more, like more sales during holidays. So where we have some holidays that you should prepare for and the type of books that you should be preparing to publish during those holidays. So let's go straight and uh, share with you some of the holidays that you can take advantage of in terms of publishing. So the first one is Easter holidays. And Easter holidays fall between uh, April. So every year, like April, during April, like we have the Easter holidays and there are possible niches that you should target in terms of publishing. So we have Easter coloring books, we have Easter notebooks, we have puzzle books, and we have web search books. So all the uh, holidays have their peculiar advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantage is that if it is in April and you start publishing in April, you will never make any sales in April. So you need to prepare for your holidays like three months before the real holiday. So April, so you should start preparing your, uh, publishing your books during January, January, February, March, April. So maybe January, February, you should uh, start publishing your books if you want to target Easter holidays. And why is this important? This is important because by then KDP uses three months to index your keywords and to properly uh, assign your location your book category and all those stuff so if you start publishing three months before the holiday by the time the holiday comes you are able to what to start making sales and uh, monetize the holidays but if you start publishing if it is in april and you start publishing in april first you will not make any sales or even april uh, january february march you start uh, publishing in march and the holiday is in April, you will not make much sales. You may make one or two, but not much. So you need to always start preparing your niches or your books, publishing them three months before any holiday. So the second holiday you should start targeting also, it's Mother's Day. And this falls within May. And uh, it falls within May. So you should start also publishing books three months before. So January, February, you shouldn't be busy publishing uh, Easter holidays, niches or books, and also Mother's Day. So you can mix all of them and publish them so that you get time to get indexed for Google ranking. So there are possible niches that you can publish in. We have gift notebooks. You can do love quotes books. You can do gratitude journals. You can do puzzle books and all the books that you feel like can have Mother's Day quotes on them. So like, beautiful mother, thank you mom, uh, best mom in the world. So they give notebooks. The notebooks will, the title of the books can get like half motivational quotes or quotes on them. So you can just write some beautiful quotes and flowers on the cover pages of your books. And that has inscriptions like, thank you mom, world's best mom, greatest mom in the world. And you are the best, you are my hero, you are my inspirer. My mama is my inspirer. Thank you, mommy, or Mother's Day to my sweet, sweet, adorable mom. So these are all titles that you can use in your book covers. And you can do quote books and you can buy gratitude journals on puzzle books of Mother's Day teams on them. So those are the uh, type of books that you can publish. But if you also find, do your researches and feel like there are other books that you can also take advantage or niches that you can publish, go ahead and do that. These are just my books that I sell there and making more sales. But you can also find different niches which are even more better than this that you can. But notwithstanding that you need to take advantage of the Mother's Day and also publish, get the keywords to align to that and publish, start publishing three months before. So in February, January, February, May. So you should start publishing during May, right? So May, you should like, 
already have your books. Then the next uh, books we should start publishing is Father's Day. So the next holiday is Father's Day, which uh, is around June. So June, they also sell a lot, especially the notebooks and coloring books. They sell a lot during like Father's Day. So you can start publishing notebooks, coloring books, web searches, puzzle books, and many more. So you need to start preparing three months before uh, Father's Day. So January, February, March, April, May, June. So by April, you should start preparing and publishing all your Father's Day books. And the beautiful thing is that you can start even publishing them now if you have the advantage or the opportunity so that by the time Father's Day will come next year, 2021 to 2022, you can make still make more money publishing, right? Because by that time, it has taken like six months and your books have been indexed very well. So we just take advantage and start publishing. But the best time also is three months after, three months before Father's Day. So the next uh, holiday you should look at is Halloween holidays. So the Halloween holiday, uh, which is like within America, I don't actually know, I'm from Africa and I don't know much about the Halloween holidays, but it's a holiday that people buy a lot of books and uh, books that have like pumpkins, uh, books that have like um, bats, horror teams, witches, like type of uh, things. So they sell more. So you should also take advantages of that. You can do coloring books, you can do web searches too, you can do puzzle books, you can do notebooks. And it's also like around 31st October. Halloween falls around 31st October. So it simply means that between June, July, August, September, October, September, October, November. So by August, you should start publishing your Halloween books and uh, should start preparing for that. Then we have Christmas, which is the biggest of all. Christmas, during Christmas, which is Q4, you can sell a lot of books than all the, your yearly sales. Within what, that month, like Christmas period, uh, November, December, you can sell more books than like your yearly sales. So take it from me. So you need to prepare for this very well. And we are all preparing for this. And there are a lot of ways you can prepare for that. So by September, October, November, you should already start publishing your book. So by September, you should have all your Christmas books ready for them to be indexed well. So you can do notebooks, Christmas notebooks, uh, Christmas coloring books, Christmas word searches, Christmas puzzle books, kids activity books, you can do planners, you can do sketchbooks, you can do uh, prayer journals, you can do gratitude journals, you can do goal setting books. There are thousands and thousands of niches and books that you can target during Christmas. So it's the biggest. Don't joke with it. Make sure you get like, you can put Santa Claus on your covers. You can put Christmas trees. You can put snow and all the themes that are related to Christmas. So this is one of the biggest, and I urge you to use that opportunity to publish more. So you should start publishing by, uh, during September, October, November, then you just hit it up through December. You can sell like crazy during December. And uh, it's everybody's dream that December should always come. That's where you hear Q4, and we sell more during, that is our holiday, KDP holiday. I think me the KDP holiday. So prepare and uh, take advantage of this to be able to what uh, make more sales. So there are other holidays that you can take advantage of, but I've not actually made more sales during those holidays. So we have like Valentine holidays, we have Thanksgiving and some other uh, St. Patrick's holidays. I've not made more my, my sales, frankly, from those holidays, but there are some friends of mine who are selling during those holidays. I don't know whether it's my keywords or it's my covers that are not selling within that period. But I don't even publish more, more books within that because I see them to be like small holidays. But you can also try to look at like uh, Valentine, books that are related to Valentine, 
that's in February. You can do St. Patrick's, you can do Thanksgiving, you know, any active holiday that you feel like you can take advantage of. Thank you, but let's go on to the KDB dashboard for us to see some of the holiday books and how you can be able to like take advantage of them. So we'll go to the KDP Amazon. So we type in any of the holidays, like in the books, we we'll go to books, Let's see Christmas. So you can see Christmas coloring books, like as simple as this. So all you need to do is to have like Christmas images, funny, funny images for kids, happy holidays, teas, and uh, this is this, this dream kids collections Christmas. So it, they are just pretty like this, and you can take advantage of. You can see that they are topping up, which means their sales are going to skyrocket any moment from now because Christmas is just around the corner or Q4 is just around the corner. You can see their BSL numbers. These are all like good, good, good opportunities for you to make more sales. So if you look at the notebooks, let's say Easter notebooks. Okay, well, let's look at Father's Day. Father's Day, Father's Day notebook journals. So you can see that, so they are also like just funny, funny things that people put in their notebooks and they are selling. Any man can be a father, but it takes someone special to be a dad. So we just like Father's Day team. Uh, less of a whatever, is, I can read this, but thanks for being a less of a. So they are just funny stuff that people put in. And all these books, you can see their BSLs are high, but during Father's Day, you see that people are will buy more of them and you make more sales. So if you take advantage of holidays, it's going to help. Thank you for your time. And let's meet again for another session.